appreciate each of you being here. Appreciate your your expert judgment. I think all of us here agreed that America should lead the world in space exploration. We have done so for decades. Um, but but I would like to start by just asking the panel, how good a job are we doing today? leading the world in space exploration, and how could we do better? We're not really leading the world. We have if you would hit your, hit your microphone, please. We have a Sorry. facility uh, up in space, and we've invested a lot in it, and we've gone to it, put it together, gone to it uh, for quite a while, and uh, then we changed our spacecraft to, to move to another program, and that program... Uh, didn't come together because of problems with the uh, the booster not being powerful enough, so we had to go to another booster to uh, to take a spacecraft uh, that from a company that hadn't built a spacecraft before. So it was gaining weight and wasn't able to put itself and the lander into lunar orbit. So we had to make the lander even bigger. And that same uh, rocket for Ares-1 I was being used on Ares 5. So it just appeared as though we weren't able to get the crew up there with the existing rocket. Uh, so we continued to develop the Orion and sort of shelved the, uh, the heavy lift vehicle. And uh, without uh, an Orion going somewhere, there's no point in continuing the lander. So the program really fell apart. Excuse me. Just tell us if that's a call from the space station. <laughs> Make sure it's not collect. <laughs> I, you know, Colonel, Colonel Cunningham, you, you talked about what you perceive to be excessive politicization at NASA and, and the challenges that presents. Uh, I was curious if you could elaborate on that and, and, and what steps could be taken to help NASA focus on, on what should be its core mission? <clears throat> I mentioned a little bit of the politics from outside of NASA that's increasingly, over the years, it's grown increasingly on NASA. <clears throat> and uh, it's could, had a lot to do with controlling with what projects they went, went into and what they did not. But it also, in my opinion, from the outside looking at it, it's infected uh, the agency itself. People inside of NASA are, are just not as willing to speak their mind on, on things to get them done. And uh, uh, some of these programs that money's been spent on and money's been, been canceled, and we tried a single stage to orbit one time, I think a billion dollars on that. So what's happened is NASA has changed, in my opinion, they have become a much more risk-averse agency over the years. Uh, for example, uh, we all realize that until we launched the Webb Telescope, the Hubble Space Telescope is the greatest telescope we've ever had. Well, we're going to have uh, the use of the Hubble Space Telescope for at least another five years, it looks like. But that wouldn't have happened had we not had the last servicing mission that went up there to service it. And that mission originally was going to go up a couple of years earlier, and it was canceled by then administrator at the time because it said it was too risky, and they canceled it because they had lost some people on, on Columbia. So it's a, it's a mental kind of thing. Back in Apollo, we lost a, a crew on Apollo 1. We had people that were just fortunate they're still alive from Apollo 13. But you have to have the will to keep going. Fortunately, we had another administrator that came on after that one, and that administrator took a look at it. It was worth the, worth the risk. They went back and had the last servicing mission, and we had the greatest telescope in history. So I don't know how to do this but we, because our society seems to be moving more risk-averse, but we need to have an agency that understands you've got to pay your money, take your chances, and get out there and push the frontier. When it comes to priorities in NASA, uh, there are a host of exploration priorities that have been discussed, whether it is asteroid retrieval, whether it is going to the moon, whether it is going to Mars, whether it is going beyond. 
Uh, I would welcome the views of, of the witnesses on this panel as, as to what the top priorities of NASA should be, which, which of those product, projects yield the greatest benefits, what order should they be staged in, uh, and to what extent should the focus be on manned exploration versus robotic <clears throat> exploration? Well, I can't tell you what degree, and I'm not an expert and totally up on internal affairs at NASA anymore at all, but as I, as I watch it, I find that what NASA has been trying to do for, no, over the last couple of decades, they recognize that the public at large uh, is looking for a demand for going to the next frontier, which happens to be, it's Mars now. <clears throat> and so they've also attempted then to rationalize whatever they were working on as a step along that program. <clears throat> Some of the things that they proposed uh, certainly will have scientific value to scientists. Will they help us on that program? I doubt it. And there are other ways of doing that. For example, you don't hear NASA really talking about returning to the moon now. I used to be uh, one of those that was not wild about uh, stopping at the moon in order to get back to Mars. But I began to realize that we have to have a facility that's going to pe pe keep people alive on Mars, and it's going to be a whole lot cheaper and easier to develop on the moon uh, than, than the other way. So I, I just think we need to get back on a program that's going to have the moon as an intermediate step and only as it fits in to go to the next frontier, Mars. You know, I, 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 it's interesting because Buzz was talking about going to Mars and, and Walt Moon and Mars, and, and I, I left the astronaut office in this, this past July, and um, we used to talk about this for years. You know, where are we going next? You know, we're going to go beyond North Orbit. Where are we going to go? And you can make an argument, I think, for almost any one of them. But I think the thing that has in common is we need to go somewhere. And I do think that NASA does have a plan to take us away from low Earth orbit. We're working with the companies that have been selected to provide. We've already got cargo going to the, to the station, and now we're going to have astronauts flying to the station uh, with the commercial crew. Um, that's the plan. I think that seems like it's taking the right steps and going in the right direction. But the, the, uh, the opportunity, the ability to, to leave the planet, to leave our orbit, is common to all of those things. So I, I've been thinking about this. What would we pick the destination? Which one do we pick? Because there's so many arguments, right? Yeah, you're going to get different opinions from, I'll, you know, people change their mind in the same day when we talked about it, right? Oh, that's a good point. Maybe we don't exactly know exactly where we should go, but we know we want to go somewhere. If we can get the lift capability, the, or the Orion capsule ready to go, we had the test back in December, which was successful. They have a plan for another one in a couple of years. It's picked up a lot of momentum. A lot of my friends, I was working on it when I was in the office, a lot of my friends are still working on those displays. People are spending money. They're, they're, they're building hardware to go. Whether that destination is to the asteroid, whether that, whether that destination is to the moon or Mars, I think we're probably going to get clear on that as we get a little bit further. Maybe we can go all the way to Mars. Maybe the propulsion research and technology we develop can get us there quicker. Maybe not. Maybe we can go to the moon. Maybe not. Maybe we can go to the asteroid. If that's the, the closest case, the one that's least cost that's going to keep us in a budget, maybe that's the right answer. But I think they are taking the right steps to get away from low Earth orbit. I think you can make a, a, an argument for each one of these. Maybe the idea is that we plan on leaving, take those steps now, and it might be clear to us where that destination is going to be a few years from now.